Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you a Barbarian Assault Hard Mode Guide for Waves 1-9 to for Collector. So I have a description for the full Wave 1-9 to run as a Collector, if you guys want to check it out. So I'm going to get into the difficulty of the Collector, and a lot of people think it's really easy to learn, and it's actually the easiest role. However, it's actually somewhat difficult to pick up on, and the most common mistake is, people think all you do is just collect eggs and then load them randomly. Well it's the only role that can kill any Penance creature, and it can clean up any messy waves basically. So yeah, it's very easy to master and perfect, since there's not much you do once you understand it. Players with pretty low combat stats can really take advantage of this role, since there's not much damage taken. So I'm talking to you skillers basically. And I would suggest that anyone who has decent understanding of Barbarian Assault, but doesn't actually defend, can actually play Collector. So for my suggested levels, there's no specific stats required. However, I do highly suggest you have level 5 Collector role. Don't worry if you're not, because I'll teach you how to play even before level 5. So it should take you 5 full rounds of 1-9 to nine hard mode to get you to level 5 from level 1. So for my gear setup, you can go naked if you like, but if you want to bring something, you want to bring a spirit shield with some armor maybe, just in case. The mobile perk really helps you surge more often. You may also want to bring Silverhawk boots for some additional XP. Combine that with Nimble outfit for more additional XP from Silverhawks. So for my inventory setup, you don't really need to bring anything, but what you need is a lot of inventory space. The only thing I would bring is just an enhanced Excalibur, just in case. So for my action bar, I have Surge, and then you want to keep auto retaliate off. You may also want to put some defensive basics as well. The attacker call stances you may also want to put on your bar as well, but it's pretty optional anyways. So basically you just collect eggs and then load to the cannon. Now both of those cannons are actually synced together, so if you load one on the east side, it'll be on both cannons. There are three types of eggs, and you start with three eggs of each color. The red egg can damage a group of penance creatures targeted, within a 5x5 radius. The green egg can target any player, and it'll give them various buffs. The blue egg debuffs monsters, it's actually useless though. The collector will then call stances for attackers. You can use the horn of glory in your inventory, or use your HP abilities to call. It's either aggressive, balanced, or defensive. When collecting eggs, you must collect the correct egg color, or else it'll explode for damage. On the top of the screen, you can see the attacker's stance changes, as well as the egg color changes. It'll flash every time a change occurs, and that happens every 30 seconds at the same time. So the next thing I'll talk about is the collector machine, and this is very important for collectors. It's basically located south of the start point of the wave. It's only accessible for level 2 or higher collectors. Basically what the collector machine does, is it converts eggs in your inventory to another color or random. You can only get the menu to choose which egg color you want, once or twice per wave. Now without the menu, the eggs are converted into this order. All blue eggs will be converted to green, all the green eggs will be converted to red, and finally all the red eggs will be converted back to blue. Now for first time level 2 collectors, you need to leave the room then re-enter. It's actually bugged so you won't get the menu. You cannot convert any eggs inside the collector bag, so make sure you empty it first before you convert. And the last thing I'll tell you is that not all eggs will be successful. The failed eggs will be destroyed in the process. The success rate will vary by level, so at level 2 you'll be 70% success, level 3 80%, level 4 90%, and finally level 5 it'll be 100% success rate. So I'll get into the Barbarian Assault map, and the common mistake I see people doing is running into the wrong zones. So first I'll talk about the red zone, and you never want to run into that zone. So never ever run north and between the cannons. You never want to run across that zone as long as there are healers alive. This can mess up the defender lure. Also it makes penance fighters spread out if you're on the west side. Now the near the east trap, it can kill you if several runners die at once near the defender. So I'll get into the next zone, and that is the green zone. It's the main place to loot your eggs, then fire the east cannon, and then the conversion machine is south in case you need to convert your egg colors. The yellow shade is the other place to loot the eggs. Alright so let's get into the strategy, and there are three ways to start. In all situations you want to call the attacker stance. Now for a level 1 collector, the only thing you can do is just load all the eggs into the cannon, because you cannot convert. For a level 2 to 4 collector, instead of loading everything into the east cannon at first, what you want to do is manually load the green eggs one by one. So basically just press use green egg on the hopper one by one. Then finally with the remaining eggs, you want to select the first option and convert them to red eggs. It will then convert all the blue eggs to the red eggs. Now if the blue eggs are still in your inventory, then that means the conversion cancelled, so you gotta redo it. Now it's a pretty common mistake that people think they've converted the eggs, but the conversion is actually cancelled or interrupted. So then finally you want to load the rest of your eggs into the east cannon. For a level 5 collector, you want to convert the eggs before you start running to the east cannon. Now this time you'll select the random option, and 100% of the time you'll end up with 3 green eggs, and the rest are red eggs. 
So then what you want to do is just load all the rest of the eggs into the east cannon. So in all cases, you want to fire a green egg at the defender. And then when you see a batch of healers start crossing the line that I drew on the screen, you want to fire as many red eggs as possible. It should take you 5 red eggs to kill the batch of healers. Now for the people who don't have level 5 collector, you may want to call your healer just to poison the rest of the healers. Now when it comes to looting eggs, you only want to loot the eggs from the healers that you killed with the red eggs. So now if the eggs you're looting are red, then you want to load them all to your cannon. If the eggs are not red however, then you want to go to your conversion machine and convert those eggs. For level 2 to 4 collectors, you'll need to collect more eggs than usual because it's not 100% successful conversion. Unfortunately, it sucks that level 1 collectors cannot convert however. So then what you want to do is use the remaining red eggs to kill the batch 2 healers from waves 2 to 9. Also, last but not least, never forget to call any stance changes for the attackers. It could kill them if they are on the wrong stance. So in summary, aside from calling the proper stances, you want to just work together with the defender to finish off any trap healers with red eggs. From waves 2 onwards, there should be 2 batches of healers. So at any time you want to finish excess of enemies, you just want to collect the red eggs and then finish them off. And only try to collect eggs from the dead healers nearby. Now if there are not enough red eggs to kill the penance healers, you can ask the healer to poison the healers for you. So overall, it's a very easy role if you understand the fundamentals of Barbarian Assault. And it's basically safe from combat, although it is difficult without level 5 collector. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it helps. If I missed anything, feel free to ask.